today. Hello. Where are we today? The Cleveland Aquarium. Have you ever been here? No. Me neither. Let's go check it out. Hey, the sign above this, this is the first animal to come to you, says that it is an invasive species. I wonder what kind it is. Oh, we've seen these. We've caught these fishing in Lake Erie before. Are, are they gobies? It looks that way. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, look, it says, right over here, it says, so you have the goby. And the sea lamprey. It's a round over. Okay. Our first visit here. We did get a year long membership, so we'll be able to come back in the time we want. So we just came out of the area for Ohio species of turtles and salamanders and, and fish. Where are we headed to now? Asia. All right. Great, let's check it out. Hey, so we just finished with the Asia and Indonesia part. Where are we headed to now? The tropical forest. The tropical forest. Let's check it out. Another turtle just laying under the heat lamp. It's a koopa. It's a koopa? It's a red footed turtle. I can see those in 
I think these guys belong in the tiki room. There's a bunch of little frogs in here. I wonder how many of them are poisonous. Wait, you see that one? Probably. Yeah, they're, they're very cool looking frogs. Oh, that's poisonous. Yes, that is a very poisonous frog. That one right there is poisonous. Oh, hey, look at this one. Yes. Oh, and that one too. Yeah, those are poison dart frogs. So, do you want to hang out with those frogs? No. No? no? They have beautiful colors, though. All right, so this area behind me says powerhouse history. I'm excited. I kind of check that, want to check that out. And what's cool about this aquarium is it is in the old powerhouse on the west bank of the flats. So kind of cool that they turned this area into an aquarium. Um, but we'll check that out. All right, so it says on the floor, this is one of the historic powerhouses, tall smokestacks. Look up. Wow. If you want, you can stay in here and watch a video of how they transform this building into not only this aquarium, but other there are other things here too. best I can to show you the 3D effect that they put onto this window frame here. This is pretty cool. And move it on. Hey, so you called me back over here. What's up? There's an octopus up there. Whoa. I feel like we're in Finding Dory. Another big room. What are we heading into? Coastal Boardwalk. Let's check it out. Look at this huge fish tank. It's huge. Yeah. If you go down here, it's full of stingrays. We'll head back over here. It says the Blue Moon Laundromat. And it's full of jellyfishes. Do you know what you do if you get stung by a jellyfish? Don't you have to like take a tomato bath? Or you could pee on it. 
Yeah, that does not sound fun. Does that sound fun? I tried to get over here in time. Did you touch the stingray? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Was it slimy? Yes, very slimy. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't want to touch it. It feels like seaweed. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This side they have set up to look like classic movie theater screen. But it's just an awesome, huge aquarium. The little dude, there for some perspective on how big it is. That's a lot of fish. So it's really only showing up blue on the camera here. But the colors coming off of this coral reef are amazing. Let me see if I go above if we get a better. No, you can't see it. But it is so colorful, so vibrant. I'm sure the light that they use helps with sustaining growth and health of the coral that's in there, but that's pretty cool. On the other side of the coral, we have a horseshoe crab trying to burrow into the sand. That's pretty cool. Again, it's not all blue. It's just the light that they're using. Trying to get some colors from here. So weird. Donant, 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 donant. Dun 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 dun. There's a shark behind you, but you said you have another joke that you stole from your cousin. What shakes under the water? I have no idea. A nervous wreck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. So we're now in oh the shark sea tube. Whoa. Oh, it's coming right at me. It's going to go over. Whoa. Look at that. The eel. Oh, it looks like I thought. Is it sleeping? Mm, I have no idea. With its mouth opening and closing. Hey, it's back to eat you again. Its mouth is wide open. It, it, it turns its head. 
Yeah. He's turning his head. Oh, that's cool. I can't tell you if I've ever experienced walking behind a shark before. I'm just following him. One of the unique experiences here at the Cleveland Aquarium. And that's it. When you leave the gift shop, you are back in the powerhouse right at uh, where we started. There it is. Alright, so we just left the Cleveland Aquarium. What did you guys think? Good. Yeah. It's not the first aquarium we've been to, but I will say for some place that seemed really small when we walked in, mm -hmm. I thought they did a great job using, utilizing their space. And I thought they did a great job with theming. What did you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite part? Definitely the shark tube. The shark tube? The shark tooth? The shark tube. Tube. Oh, yeah. You like that too? Yeah? I kind of like that coral area. I know it doesn't show up well on the phone, but that was a no. really cool space. The, the, sh the sharks were just going over the tube. Yeah. Over. It was great. So, hey, would you guys recommend that people come back out? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Now, we got for Christmas, we got... Uh, season pass here, right? So we can come, you know, whenever we want. So to, I didn't really look at pricing, so I, I do recommend that you look at the pricing, make sure it's within your budget before you guys come. But I thought it was a great time and a great experience. We started, we got here around 11, 10. It's now 12, 21, and I feel like we saw everything we want to see. Would you guys agree with that? Yes. So definitely something you could do this, and then maybe if you wanted to, Hop over to the Rock Hall or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or go out to dinner, catch a catch a Cavs game, something. Hey, so to finish off the video, we decided to walk over to the Cago River. We are in the flats. We're on the west bank of the flats. You can see the east bank behind us. There's Cleveland. And uh, yeah, this is the Cago River. It is the same river that caught fire many, many years ago. And uh, we're going to have to do some teaching on that to the kids later today. But with that, we had a fun time here today. I think it was well worth our time coming out. Mm -hmm. But hey, you can help us beat those YouTube algorithms. Please like and subscribe. And leave a comment down below. And with that, we are all clear. And, and out of here. here.